Alright, now we find out what happened to Luke and Yoda. Okay. A little crowded in here. Let's unbox it. Safety first, nitrile gloves. Okay. I've let it drip a little, still got some more dripping to do, but let's take a quick look at it. The backpack was completely not supported well enough. The backpack was not supported well enough. Oh, and neither was Luke's back. Holy moly, look at that. All right, well, it's a good learning experience. So, it did reconnect a back up here after quite some time but it looks beautiful just gorgeous detail but let's get it off the build plate set it here and get to work you thought I was joking about the mallet but we got a mallet typically is going to be pretty difficult to get off that build plate this stuff will come off easy enough don't even need the mallet for that go ahead just Give it a little, little elbow grease here. Here we go. Yep, I got under that, and that's fine. Same thing with all these skates in the back. Okay, those on the side. Especially since those aren't connected to anything, so. But, the main piece though, and those just come right off, see? Accidentally came off. Main piece, let's do this. It's the easiest way I've found to get them off. Once you're under the main layer, you're pretty good to go. It's kind of coming off now. Here we go. All right, so. I'm breaking it off some of the supports here. And I just twisted it off a lot of these supports, so here we are. Huh? This is uncured so far, but this is what it looks like. The supports, oh, it's dripping. Nope, nope, be careful about drips. Fortunately, it landed on my paper. Be very careful about the drips. Wear your gloves, of course. I'm gonna pop this in the cleaning solution, so stay tuned. As you can see here, all those supports that were coming in from an angle that we talked about, that I said I had a bad feeling about, didn't hold the backpack. You can see, if you look from below, you can see the holes. That's the bottom layer of the backpack. It just got stuck to the FEP when these supports weren't strong enough to hold it. And then when it met up with more of the model that was supported, it actually pulled it off of the FEP and connected to the rest of the model. So it just cured layer after layer after layer on the FEP, stuck to the FEP until it was able to pull away. And then it connected to the rest of the model. So you can see this just layer after layer cured on top of one another, flat. As you can see, the details are very fine. A lot of uh, very nice details there. But some of the finer supports that I put on didn't end up working very well. So part of his finger pulled away and got stuck on the FEP until it met up with the rest of the model, at which time it pulled off the FEP. But the first parts you can see pulled off of those really fine, thin supports. So it didn't hold on to the finger like I hoped it would. And you can see what happens there. It just ended up flat and connected to the FEP, even though it was only a few layers. And same thing with the claw. His claw got a little bit stuck to the FEP and then pulled away. So what we'll do is we'll put some uh, thicker supports on that too. But most of the rest of it, his 
all the outside is everything is pretty well supported. These fingers turned out fine. They're very close to the rest of it. I think some of the supports have fallen off since then. Let's see if I can get in there. These two are fine. The inside looks pretty good. His back isn't there because the backpack actually was the back. Looks like there's a little bit here. I did have to cut off uh, supports from his elbows. They were pretty strong, heavy supports. Kind of a line going through the whole model right here. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. Pretty detailed. I love the eyes on this one. They look like eyes on a statue. Very detailed. So we're going to print this again, but I'll go over adding the supports more properly. And getting that backpack to print, making sure the supports go from the base to the uh, backpack. Making sure it's well supported. Alright. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, we're going to go over adding heavier supports to resolve the issue shown in this one. Uh, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And so I can get a little ad revenue coming my way. Thanks again. Bye-bye now.